Hey guys, Totality TV here. I know I'm a month late in this, but DSMUME 0.9.8 is out and it's been out since April 9, 2012. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure it and make it run faster. So first, you're going to open your web browser. And then you're going to go to DSMUME.org, which is spelled D-E-S-M-U-M-E.org. Link is the description, by the way. And as you can see, it's really out. I'm not lying. It's been out since April 9, 2012. And now we're going to download it by clicking here. And then if you have a 32-bit operating system, you're going to download this file right here on top. And if, you ha if you're running a 64-bit version, uh, you're going to download this one right here. And by the way, if you want to know whether you're running a 64-bit or 32-bit, you're going to go to Start Computer right click properties and it should say right here by the way I'm running 64 bit so I'm gonna download the 64 bit version five seconds oh my god it's taking forever Alright, now you're going to move the zip file into your desktop. And by the way, um, you have to have a file archiver like WinRAR or WinZip. And I use EasyArc, which is another one. It's not the best one, but this is my preference. So now you're going to extract it to a new folder called DSMUM or whatever you want to call it. Track everything into the new folder and now you're gonna run it all right now we're gonna go to uh, config tab and 3d settings um, under render you're gonna click soft rasterizer and under soft rasterizer options you're gonna uncheck the first three uh, boxes I highly recommend you enable textures since that's what fixes the image and makes it look good or else it'll look shit. And also I suggest you enable line hacks since that fixes some line bugs or whatever but you can remove it if you want but it won't change anything. Next you're gonna go to control config. Uh, I guess you know what to do right here just like configure your controls and stuff so yeah I don't have to explain you this. Next you're gonna hotkey config uh same goes for this except that um there's a fast forward hotkey it's automatically at tab at default uh if you ever played visual board advance another game board advance emulator if you've pressed the space bar it would like automatically fast forward the gameplay same goes for this it's not as efficient but it does work so keep this in mind Next, you're going to go to sound settings and at interpolation, you're going to click none. It says fast, it sounds bad, but trust me, it's not that bad. It's, it sounds pretty good, actually. Okay. Next, firmware settings. This is pretty much like your own settings. Like, what's your nickname? I don't know. My name is Ediz, so I'm going to name it like that. Uh, message poop. Here color red. Whatever, is just your that's optional. Uh, next, go to emulation settings and uncheck everything. After that, um, this you don't need to touch. If you want to mess around with the microphone settings, go ahead, but I suggest you don't because it's already fine like that. And uh, you're gonna go to frame skip and put it, uh, click four. Because you don't wanna like, you don't wanna um, lock your frame rate or something, so it's better to leave, like, leave it like that. Oh, and uh, 
unchecked limit frame rate. Then language English. You can change it if you want. And yeah, we're pretty much done here. And by the way, if you want to like change your uh, screen size, you can still click hit this. Uh, it's not really full screen, but it still has these big black, big black borders that like it doesn't disturb you like the background does. So, and also you can go to window size and view window size and change it like that. I'm just click 1.1.5. I sure it's perfect like that. You just go go to file, open ROM, and open whatever kind of ROM you have. As of now, I don't have anything, but I do have some in the description. So I'm a link to I'm gonna link it to you. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and subscribe for more.